chapter 5, lesson 3, is composite figures. So, in grade 5, we learned that composite figures usually means a combination of different figures. So, in grade 5, it's a combination of squares and rectangles. So, since now we're dealing with circles, it will be a combination of circles, squares, and rectangles. Okay, so which means we need to still be mindful of all past formulas, including the formulas for squares and rectangles, and we need to recall our recent formulas for circumference and for area. Okay, so I'll write them down. So this is circumference is 2 pi r or 2 times pi times r, and area is pi r squared or pi times r times r. And we said that pi could either be 3.14 or pi could be 22 over 7. Okay, so for the discussions for this lesson, I've selected two problems from pages 155 and 158. Okay, so starting with 155, it says, this is 1B, a floor mat is made up of a semicircle and a quarter circle. So a semicircle and a quarter circle. And they gave a drawing. So this is your semicircle and this is your quarter circle. Okay. So this, they say, is... 28 centimeters. Okay, so which means if this is a quarter circle and this is a semicircle, that means this right here is the diameter of the half circle. So I'll just draw it separately so we all see. So it'll be like that. And then it'll be like that. Okay, so this is 28, which means this is also 28. Okay. So then it says, the radius of the quarter circle is 28. So there's the 28. So radius of the quarter circle, so I'll draw it like that, is 28 centimeters. Okay, so then it says, find the perimeter and the area of the mat. Okay, and it wants us to use pi is equal to 22 over 7. And so if we want the perimeter, we'll start here. It says we want this radius, this circumference, a fourth of the circumference, and a half of the circumference. So that means I'll call that radius 1. So this is radius 1. Okay, plus a fourth of circumference 1 plus a half of circumference 2. Okay, so which means if we write down the formula, radius 1 plus 1 fourth times the circumference, since we're given the radius, is going to be 2 times pi times r1 plus 1 half times 2 times pi times r2. Okay, so filling in one by one, the radius 1 is 28. This is 1 fourth times 2 over 1 times 22 over 7 times radius 1 is 28 over 1 plus 1 half times 2 over 1 times 22 over 7 times, I'll put here radius 2 is 14. So this is 14 over 1. Okay, so since the problem is meant to be computed mentally, we need to start canceling or else we'll be overwhelmed. Okay, so I can cancel this with this. 7, 1. Okay, then I can cancel that 7 with that 7, 1. Okay, I can cancel this and that, that's 1. And I can cancel that and that, that's 2. So we have a 28, we have a 
44, and we have a 44. If we add all of those together, then that means that's 116. So again, here in this problem, they don't have a calculator picture. But for something like this, it's okay already to put in our calculus to check if we got it right. So continuing on to area, area is equal to one-fourth area of circle one. So that's one-fourth, or this one. Okay, plus one-half area of circle two, or this one. Okay, so we'll write down the formula, one-fourth times pi times r1 times r1 plus one-half times pi times r2 times r2. Okay, so there's my formula, but I'll do the work here. So area is equal to one-fourth times 22 over 7 times radius 1 is 28 over 1 times 28 over 1 plus one-half times 22 over 7 times radius 2 is 14 over 1 times 14 over 1. So again, this problem is meant to be done with computational math. So that means we need to be able to cancel these out. Now, we shouldn't be stressing which numbers to cancel because at the end, when you cancel all the correct numbers, the final answer should still be the same. So example, if I cancel that first with that and then cancel that with that, it's still 28 that I'm canceling. So I can just go one go. So that's one, one, and one. Okay, but if you want to cancel four there and cancel seven there, that's also fine to do. Okay, so which means this again is cancel, cancel, cancel. One, one, and one. Okay, so which means if you multiply 22 by 28, that's 616. If you multiply 22 by 14, that's 308. So you can check in your calculators. And then if you add those two together, we should get 924. Okay, so the units we must not forget. So this is area, centimeters squared. This a while ago, we didn't put that unit, so we have to make sure at the end of the process to check. So our units for perimeter is centimeters. The other problem that I will be discussing for this lesson is on page 158. Okay, 3B. It says, the figure shows a circle and four quarter circles inside a square. Okay, so you have a square. Okay, I'm going to try to draw this perfectly, but I doubt it. Okay, oops. Okay, anyway, there's a circle and a square. Okay, and then there's four quarter circles. So there's one quarter circle, there's another quarter circle, there's another quarter circle, and there's another quarter circle. Okay, then it says the side of the square so this is the side, is 14 centimeters. Okay, so um, find the area of the shaded parts. Okay, this is the shaded parts. Okay, so this is quite a challenging problem. So we need to make sure that we do this step by step. Okay, so they say use pi is equal to 22 over 7. So meaning they don't want the use of calculators. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking this picture here. Okay, so I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it here. So if I took that, that's a square like that. And then it's like this and like that. Okay, so which means I could cut that in half. And that means this half is equal to the other half. So that means each of these things, loop, is made up of two of these. Okay, and I'm going to take that part and I'm going to draw it. So if I draw it, I'm going to take 
and draw it like this. This is the radius, this is the radius, and this is what we have. Okay, so that's technically this version here. So this, this, and this, but inverted. Okay, so the radius happens to be, in this case, 14. The radius is, sorry, the radius is 7 because the side is 14. So again, the radius is only half of the side. So the radius must be 7 centimeters. Okay, so to be able to find this, that's technically area of shaded. I'll call that shaded. Okay, that's technically one-fourth area of a circle minus area of this triangle. So that's a triangle. Okay, so using our formulas, one-fourth times pi times r times r minus area of a triangle is one-half times base times height. Okay, so again, the lesson now is this, but the kids are, are required to know previous formula. So formula of a square, formula of a triangle, they need to know. Okay, so which means if I were to continue solving, this is 1 fourth times 22 over 7 times the radius is 7 over 1 times 7 over 1 minus 1 half times, this time the base is 7 over 1 times 7 over 1. Okay, so which means if I cancel this and this, 1 and 1, and I cancel that and that, 11 and 2, that gives us um, 11, 77 over 2. 11 times 7 is 77 over 2 minus 49 over 2. If we subtract those, that will technically be 14. Okay, so which means the area of one of these is 14. But we need 8 of those. So remember, that's 1, but there's 2 in one of these. Bean-looking thing. Okay, so there's 2 of them, but there's 4 of these bean-looking things or this leaf-looking thing. So the area of the total shaded must equal to 8 times area of the single shaded, this one. So which means that's 8 times 14, which means that this is 112 centimeters squared. Again, these composite figures could be a bit challenging. So to reduce the stress, what we want to do is take bit, bits of pieces of the whole thing. And that will make it easier for the kids. So that concludes the lesson. And it also concludes the chapter. See you in the next chapter.